How's it going, everybody? Uh, just want to do a quick video tonight. Um, want to show you guys something I found uh, yesterday, actually. Um, it's how to fix uh, Turtle Beach Stealth 700 headsets, uh, Gen 2. How to unbrick these things. Um, so Wednesday, I came home, tried to plug my headset in, weren't turning on. I wasn't getting a uh, indicator light here when I plugged them in, when I charged them. Uh, nothing when I turned on, they were just dead in the water. So I thought that uh, the charger wasn't working when I plugged it in. I, like I said, I wasn't getting any lights. Um, so I was getting ready to call in Turtle Beach, but I decided I'd take a look online and do some research here. So what I found is that there's actually a way to fix a bricked Turtle Beach headset which I was very surprised. And this is a pretty pretty brand new uh, information. It's actually just as of uh, Wednesday. So I wanna flip the camera around here and show you guys kind of what I found here. Um, but basically, uh, there's a way to fix them. So you're gonna, I'm gonna link both of these links in the uh, description of the video. So uh, this is how you fix it. So Stealth 700 Gen 2 Xbox Recovery Tool. And then there's a Stealth 700 Gen 2 uh, PS recovery tool. So you just want to pick your system. Uh, really quick, I wanted to show you guys, um, before you do any of this, it's always best just to try um, to plug them into your Audio Hub software. So uh, you can download this uh, through the Turtle Beach website. But uh, try to plug them in first. This, uh, the, the recovery tool is kind of last, last ditch effort. So it's going to download files, it's going to load your device. Um, it'll tell you if your firmware is up to date. I think you can also do a restore from here if you need to. But mine wasn't loading in this software at all. It was just, uh, they were, it was saying, can't find Turtle Beach headset. Make sure they're plugged in. Well, well they were plugged in and they, just, they were bricked completely. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, always update your firmware. You know, that's just the best practice. There could be bugs. There could be there could be anything. So just make sure they're they're updated right here. Um, okay, so back to the recovery tool. So this is from the Turtle Beach website right here, support.turtlebeach.com. Um, you basically just want to follow this this article. Uh, it's going to give you the link right here to download the the, the PlayStation tool. Uh, I actually have the Xbox version, so I'm going to go over here. But you're just going to click here, download. Uh, I already have the file downloaded. It's this uh, Ejex Gen 2, Stealth 700 Xbox Gen 2 recovery tool. You're going to open this thing up. It's going to ask you to connect uh, to a USB port. And it's going to say, ask for permission to, for this updater to run. So it's, it's going to probably prompt with a Windows Defender pop-up. Just hit allow access. This, it, Like I said, this is 100% legit. Um, just run it. Uh, I already fixed mine, so I'm going to close this out here. Uh, it takes about four to five minutes to run. And like I said, it's gonna they're gonna reboot a couple of times. They're gonna they're gonna start back up. But by the time this process is done, uh, it's like a DOS prompt. It, it reprograms your headset basically. Uh, so uh, and once that's done, these things you have to repair them. But you're gonna be good to go, which is, which is really surprising. I am I was really really happy when I when I was able to fix these things. I did not want to send them back to Turtle Beach. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick review on these since I since I since I'm making the video anyways. Um, these are really nice headsets. Uh, highly recommend them if they if they if they worked. <laughs> That's the problem is that they don't always work. You know I've had two sets of these now, and they've both bricked for some reason. You know uh, whether I'm I'm allowing them to charge all the way down and then not charging them. I don't know the reason why these things are bricking, but I know a lot of people are having the same issues with these headsets. So they're comfortable. Um, you know, I would give them a nine out of 10 if they didn't brick all the time, if there wasn't problems with them. But you want a headset, if you're gonna spend 150 bucks on a pair of headset, which these cost, you don't wanna have to replace them after a year. Um, these should be a good two to five year investment at the, at the very least. Uh, but in ter everything is great. It's just the problem with, the, with the, uh, the functionality and whether or not they're gonna work. So. I'd say they're a six a solid six out of ten. You know they could be so much better, um, and hopefully this tool is going to fix all your guys' problems. So hopefully, you know you won't have to send them back. Is is the main thing. So uh, that's about it for the video. Uh, I hope like and subscribe. Uh, I'll have plenty more videos coming. So uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. All right, thank you so much. Bye.